So, Mike, let me get this straight. The show is only on pay-per-view, right? Well, not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Well, nobody gets paid, and we really don't have any viewers. What's happening? It's called opening by now. The uh, theme should have kicked in. Just keep laughing. <laughs> 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 And, uh, folks, yes, it's our night with the stars of the WWF. Yeah. Or, or, as I like to call it, night with the future stars of the WCW. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm used to the boo a lot earlier in the show. <laughs> Tonight, the WWF is here. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, hold that up again, young fella. Hold it up again there. Yeah, you want China and Trish to see it. I'm sure nobody else will call. That's <laughs> uh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, well, believe me, I'm glad I'm last on the list. <laughs> it, uh, you hold your phone number up for the nation to see. Yeah, it'll only be China or Trish calling, I'm sure. Well, by the way, now that you've done that, here's the guy you want to see about the insurance policy. <laughs> Yes, folks, WWF's here in November, Playboy Centerfold, China. Yes. yes. And right to censor member Val Venus. Yes. Along with Test and the delicious Trish Stratus. And the tag team powerhouse of Edge and Christian. And Carl DeMarco. Uh, president of the WWF in Canada. Management never gets a big hand, huh? Way to get around the room, union guy. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. We're looking very forward to presenting it to you. Why, by gar, we're all glad to be alive. <laughs> we will return after these commercial messages. Hit it, Orn. been called the ninth wonder of the world and you can see all of her this month in playboy magazine please welcome china
congratulations. I had no idea you were the ninth wonder of the world. See that? Yeah. And I laugh heartily at your jokes, too. So. Oh, thank you very much. That, of course, alone would make you the ninth wonder of the world. <laughs> What, uh, what exactly is the eighth wonder of the world? I have no idea. I know what the seventh is. It's Niagara Falls. Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant yes. was the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> well, you, you've got to be flattered. You're, well, gosh, you're probably like the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Oh. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times in my life I've been the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, you were one of the first female wrestlers to actually uh, fight men on a level playing field in that uh, ring. Uh, now, how did, the, how did the men respond to that? How did they treat you when you first came oh, on the scene? Oh, they like it a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, you know, it was something, obviously, that was very new at first right. and I think quite um, unacceptable to most of them. And now they really, you know... I think they dig it, and the people dig it, and, um, yeah. you know, it's become a very accepted, credible thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been uh, injured by a man, hurt by a man? Only my feelings, Mike. Right. <laughs> I'm not no, talking about I... said he'd call the next day and didn't I? I'm referring no, to I the No, I mean, ring. physically, I could still whoop most of them. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> That is, uh... Look at him over there, smiling at me, going, uh-huh. You gonna take me on? <laughs> Look how frightened he is. Although, I read that you can bench press 365 pounds. I could at one time. That's okay, amazing. One time. Okay. Amazing. 366. <laughs> is it a small world? It is, Mike, it is. Uh, you'll get there. <laughs> However, did you uh, work up to 300? I, I, I've never, I don't know many, many men, and I've never met a woman who could bench press 365 pounds. How did you start? Well, I was training for, for strength at that time, uh -huh. so, um, and I just really thrived. I mean, every day that I could put on a couple more pounds, I just thought uh -huh. that it was, you know, sort of going to see exactly how far I could go, and, and uh, until I... <laughs> blew out my shoulder and, you know, a gasket doing it, I decided that right. that was good. Yeah, so now I should stop there. But, uh, you know, it, it's amazing to me because you are so uh, feminine looking. Yes. That you could bench press that kind of weight. So it's amazing to me because I, uh, I pride myself on the research I do for this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, in, in uh, glancing and uh, studying yes. this week, I... I uh, I was quite uh, shocked, actually, that uh, someone as uh, feminine as yourself could lift that kind of weight. Well, I think you're going to find that there are um, a lot of very feminine women out there that are lifting a lot of weight, and I think that the guys in the world are in for a lot of trouble very soon. So do you it's think all part of a big plan. So do you... Do you think that much like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, eventually you'll all turn on us? Well, I think it's, it's more like a, a China globalization process where all the women are going to work out, ladies, and then we're going to have all the men do our laundry, cook. Wait a minute. Okay, we're still better cook. Yeah. Sounds, uh, sounds to me like my mother and my wife were way ahead of their time. <laughs> uh, I, I was reading in the uh, interview on the back that you have a favorite athlete, and your choice rather surprised me. It's uh, Mike Tyson. Yes, it is. Yeah. They didn't, uh, they didn't delve into the reasons. Why, why would Mike Tyson be your favorite athlete? I like Mike because I think he's just, you know, a little pit bull and he's got personality. Yes, and he's I got think, a lot of personality. You know, um, <laughs> he sure does, but I mean... Quite I the ear collection, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think boxing would even be as prevalent as it is today if it weren't for right. him. And, and, uh, have I you ever met him? Yes, I have. And I have. He, he was nice? on uh, one of our um, WrestleManias one time. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So, would you say that Mike Tyson is misunderstood? Oh, no. I didn't wow. say that. 
because I've never understood a word that came out of his mouth, really. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Misunderstood that way. Now, uh, what? this is your new uh, workout tape, China Fitness. Yes. China, China Fitness. Fitness. And uh, this is uh, rather controversial, I think. It's a, it's a tough, tough workout you go through. How did this come about? It's a very tough workout, but I think, you know, before I was ever um, a World Wrestling Federation superstar, working out was very much a part of my life. And um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I'm very thrilled to be able to do it through our company, the WWF. But, um, you know, I want people to not be intimidated by weight. So I don't consider myself to be a bodybuilder. I consider myself to, um, you know, that I've taken weights and sculpted my body the way I want to look. And I right. use it for other things, such as wrestling. And, and I'm an athlete. And um, I don't want women especially to be intimidated by weights because it's a gift to be able to you know, have something that you can make your body look however you want it to look. And um, you shouldn't be afraid of it. You should use it to your advantage. Could a man work out to this tape? Absolutely. Right. Well, when I did the, um, when I was creating the program for this, I took uh, the cat, Kitty, who had never worked out a day in her life, and I also took Billy Gunn, and I put different weights in their hands and ran them through the program, and I smoked them both. Mm -hmm. So you can see yeah. one end to the other, really, it works. Yeah. So it's, everybody can do it. Now, uh, I, I have to ask Including you, this. you. Oh, I understand. Because I understand yeah. that you're going to run home and... I, I think I covered that when I said, could a man work out to this day? <laughs> now, what prompted you to pose uh, nude for Playboy, just out of curiosity? I love to get naked, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I just said that to get everybody going, but... Um, I think it does make a very powerful statement. I think that. I have been following you all over the United States and Canada, and every single time I find you, you're out here promoting this kind of garbage. Yeah! Oh, yeah, Val? Yeah, China. Don't you understand that you are corrupting the minds of Canadians right now? Don't you understand that? Well, maybe you'd like to go, huh? Maybe I would like to go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Come on, let's Don't go. Don't touch me. I'll keep touching. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't say what I say. Don't say what I say. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're a poopy Don't pants. say a damn word. <laughs> for, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, this is not Jerry Springer. <laughs> it's Val Venus, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, How are you? When you, uh, when you came out and criticized China for promoting garbage, I wasn't exactly <laughs> sure if you were referring to Playboy or this show. I was a little hurt. <laughs> But it's uh, very nice. Now, wrestling has become a very adult form of entertainment, I would say. Wouldn't you? You can say that in certain aspects. Um, yeah. Is that why you decided to become a, a Right to Census member? Hell no. No? Became a Right to Censor member to actually mock... I'm sorry, Right to Census. A Right to be counted? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> it's all right. Just all right. take a deep right. breath and we'll be all right. All right. Actually, uh... The organization was created to actually mimic and mock the PTC, which is the Parental Television Council in the United yeah, States. Yeah, because you want to mock those people. Absolutely. I mean, they're, uh, they're actually communist. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a free country, I don't think you know, we should have that type of censorship. I mean, it's, they, they kind of act like, uh, what's the Attorney General's name here, Jim Flaherty? Yes. He's the guy that tried to censor Eminem. Eminem, I mean, yeah. who is Jim Flaherty to tell me what I can and cannot listen to? That's right. I, I've always believed that uh, good taste will make it all even out eventually. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, have you, have you heard Eminem's CD? 
Yes. It's, it's quite shocking. Mm -hmm. it, it is very shocking, but I mean, if in a free country, I should have the right to listen to whatever I want to listen to. I'm mm -hmm. not committing crimes, so, you know, he should, if he wants to dictate to people, he should move to Cuba or move to China and dictate to a nation all he wants. Based on the uh, based on the speech you just made, I could guess. But if you weren't a wrestler, what would you be? So. I would be running for head of the Libertarian Party in Ontario. Yes, that's what that was my assumption. <laughs> All right, Val. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, Val Venus would certainly be catchy on the ballot. It's all name recognition, you know. Absolutely. Val Venus, you'd get it. No oh, heck yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. just have a lot of women around me and. Both a lot of women around you. Sure. <laughs> That's what politics is all about. You know it is these days. <laughs> Look at that Gretchen. He's beating him off with a stick. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you for coming by, and I know you're both going to stay for the entire show, and I'd like to thank you for coming as well, China. We're going to go to commercial, but we'll be right back with Test and Trish Static. <laughs> Powerhouse tag team TNA, along with his beautiful manager, please welcome Test and Trish Static. Yeah, very nice to have, yeah, very nice to have the two of you here. I understand you're going to do a little cooking demonstration. Yeah, we're going to cook it up for you. Bet we're looking forward to it, huh? All right. You spent a lot of time in the kitchen in your house, oh, you? Bet. You know yeah. me, I'm a galloping gourmet. Galloping gourmet. Yeah, sure. People would hear you coming. All the time. Yeah, that's uh, great. And Trish, uh, you cook yourself? I do. Well, I don't cook myself. No. But, um, yeah, I I'm cook. I'm sorry, it said Trish. <laughs> it said Trish kebabs, right. I just assumed. I don't put pieces of me on skewers or anything, but, yeah. Right. I, I cook. All right. I so I you're a good cook, a good are you? I am. All right. And uh, you're a good cook yourself, though, Test? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your mother dressed you before you go on or what? Yeah, what's test short for? Testy? Ooh. No, it's can you pass the test. Oh, can you pass the test? Well, on to the cooking. I'm not afraid of you. We have security here. <laughs> you got me too. I'm on your side. Uh, Don't worry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I am afraid of you. <laughs> right. Now, uh, do you get frustrated by people who say, uh, you know, it's rigged, it's fake, they're not really cooking? Yeah, definitely. I take that to offense. You know, I put a we lot of work into the, time, making these yeah. spots here, putting the uh, tostitos together. Yeah. Do you have a special <laughs> diet to stay in the condition you're in? Uh, yeah, I pretty much a seafood diet. I see it, I eat it. No kidding, huh? <laughs> Judging by uh, your sweet physique, you're on about the, pretty much the same diet. Actually, I'm on uh, high protein, low carbs. You know? Tell. We're yeah. good, man. We're good. Eat a lot of, eat a lot of, well, I don't know if you ever heard of this, brain food? What? <laughs> What are you trying to say? Huh? What are you trying to say? Oh, what I'm saying is this is over. I got to talk to Trish. <laughs> uh, how about you, Trish? Any special dietary needs? Well, same thing, actually. High protein, mm -hmm. low, low carbs, and low fat. And right. this is an ideal meal that we would probably eat. Yeah, what is it you're going to make for us today? Trish kebabs. Chicken, yeah. Chicken shish kebabs. No kidding, huh? No and, kidding uh, at all. That used to be the original copyright for that, but now they're called trish kebabs. Right, right. New so improved. anytime someone makes a chicken... Uh, Kebab. Right. They're really making a trish kebab. If they follow the recipe. Wow, I had no idea the WWF wielded such power. <laughs> and you're making? Uh, these are test tostitos, chicken, guacamole. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so it makes uh, me so just, swell. Yeah, just the name makes my mouth water. <laughs> okay, well, why don't... I hope don't, it's not uh, uh, looking at me that's making your mouth water. No, looking at you is not... Looking at you is making my mouth dry. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Huh? What am I trying? I'm not saying anything. Why don't you just cook? Uh, 
What do you, why, why don't you show us how you do this? Uh, well, I would, but to be honest with you, I've never really uh, cooked this. <laughs> no. I've never even seen it before, that so was my uh, assumption. I really couldn't put it together for you. Yeah. <laughs> used, to, yeah. used to getting those Testa Tito's at the drive-thru, are you, Testy? Well, uh, how about I get my, I sit down in the chair, you serve me, and that's what I'm really used to. Is that used usually to. the way it works? Yeah. So, all right, the man in your life usually serves you. Interesting. Chris. <laughs> Why don't you show us how All to make right. a trish kebab, we'll because I, I find that fascinating. We are here to cook today. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really simple. You right. take the, there's a list of ingredients. You simply pour them into the saucepan, like that. Yeah. Like, just dump them in. That's it. Real mm -hmm. basic. And uh, you turn it on. Turn on your stove. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you stir it up. Basically, yeah. that's how you make your yeah. sauce. I imagine most of this WWF stuff can be done in an easy bake oven, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Good. So that's and, it. Uh, would you would, would it be safe you to say just... that these are good for you? It's pretty safe to say, yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's all it is. It's just chicken and it's vegetables, and you would mm -hmm. put the uh, the basting on and put it on Beautiful. your grill, and there you go. That's fantastic. Great How's food. it going with you over there, genius? <laughs> Great. Look at it. It's already together. Wham! Like that. So, so why didn't you call this dish "Some Assembly Required"? Well, there been. is, but I, I, was, yeah. I was actually told you were going to put it together, so I didn't really worry about this. Well, part. here's how it's done. You want to watch? Yeah. Let's see. There. Show them how it's done. Little uh, so picante sauce, right little here. guacamole, a little uh, okay. feta cheese there, some chicken. <laughs> there you go, huh? There you go. Now what? Yeah, try some. Well, why don't you try some? I'll tell you what. How about you save that for the two skinny buddies, uh, Edge and Christian. You can feed them. All right. Feed them. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. All right, we'll do that. We'll be right back with Edge and Christian, Trish and Test. Good job. Oh. Gentlemen, uh, I know I've said it many times before, but uh, how about a big hand for Showboat Isaacs and the Sidemen? <laughs> yeah. Very, uh, very few people can make the bass an exciting instrument. Well, I thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm just saying, someday, perhaps. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next two guests need no introduction. Please welcome the tag team duo of Edge and Christian. <laughs> Good to have you here, fellas. <laughs> Haven't seen you since we shot our little commercial together this summer. Riveting stuff. Yes, it was. Everything yeah. okay? Very good, very good. Treating we just... you well, are they? Yeah, not too bad at all. That was good. a real feel-good project we did, wasn't it? I thought it was. A... Yeah. I thought it was a feel-good. <laughs> Perhaps nice you we... didn't see me scare the hell out of Test. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> testicle. Testicle. We call him Sabretooth in the back because he has teeth like this. Uh, it was, uh, <laughs> if you had a little block of wood up there on your uh, little cooking segment, you probably could have willed you a nice... Uh, Nice sculpture with his buck teeth, you know. I see we're of the same mind where he's concerned. Well, yeah. All right, much. good. So I think this is going to go very, very well. I can feel the love, Mike. Now, uh, why wouldn't Commissioner Foley allow you guys to have another shot at the title? Well, basically because the Hardys are afraid of us. Right. Have you ever heard the term reeking of awesomeness? I'm sorry? Have you ever heard the term reeking of awesomeness? Yes. Because that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. You want one? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that's good stuff, Mike. Now, you, that's you, ratings. You, uh... <laughs> yeah. I feel left out. I need one over here, buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now pump it. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy with the ratings where they are. Thanks. <laughs> now, you, you, why were you guys the conquistadors? I, 
Oops. The Conquistadors. Oh, those guys, they're a great tag team. They're yeah, really good. Senor. All right. senor. No, we, uh, <laughs> but we couldn't get a shot at the tag team titles because the... Just uh, out of curiosity, how smart is Commissioner Foley that you could put on little red matador hats and fool them? No, it was gold masks. That's what fooled them. Oh, it was gold, gold masks. I didn't yeah. see the gold masks. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, we, could, we couldn't get a match with the Hardys because they're hiding behind uh, Mick Foley's filthy track pants. And... Uh, <laughs> So, so we decided to take matters into our own hands, and we actually did get another channel ran out of it, so now we're three-time tag team champions of the world. <laughs> but we, we did lose them the next. We, we did lose them the next night, though. So. It's, 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 but uh, and that might be a good thing because it is an awesome mantle of responsibility. <laughs> Uh, you know. We felt weighed, weighed down a little. Yeah. Actually, Chris. Now, now who, well, who won the light heavyweight title? Was that you? I don't like to talk about that. Yeah, you yeah, you I won did. you won the light heavyweight title. Yes, I did. Yeah, was that an exciting evening for you? Oh, it was, yeah, actually it was because it was my first uh, first uh, match in the World Wrestling Federation on a pay per view, and to win a championship, my first match was was yeah. a good feeling. Now, who was it who uh, had the light heavyweight title and then lost it? Was that you too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, are you gonna try again for the light? No. 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 All right. Uh, may may I and I and I, I, I certainly not to embarrass, but I was wondering why you wouldn't give that another shot. Um, it's just not something that I, I want to go after. I want to go after bigger and better things. Yeah. It, it kind of goes in a little uh, hierarchy. You have the light heavyweight, and then you have the European, the Intercontinental, which you didn't mention that I've held, uh, the tag team titles, and the world heavyweight. Title. It's a good thing to start off with, you know what I mean. But um, I don't want to be pigeonholed as being like a light heavyweight what have you, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I'm at the size where, you know, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but I'm not the smallest either, so I'm kind of in the middle somewhere, right. and I can, uh, I would rather compete for a bigger thing. Uh, you, I recommend you start eating a lot of those testatitos. Yeah. <laughs> That'll get you out of that light heavyweight category. <laughs> that did not look healthy to me. Now, uh, you're engaged to uh, Val Venus's sister. Yes, yeah, she's yeah. actually downstairs. Mm -hmm. watching uh, after seeing him this evening, if I were you, I wouldn't even try to consummate that baby on the big day. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, thankfully, they don't look alike. Yeah, not even. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> no. Not even close. I mean, it, it's amazing. Yeah, big you difference. Know, uh, 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 that, that girl should get on her hands and knees every night before she goes to bed and thank God that she looks like her mother. Wow! <laughs> Poor Val! Thank God that she looks like her mother. You know? Yeah. She, apparently she looks like her mother. Yeah. Either yep. that or he looks like his mother and that's a horrible thing. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Oh. <laughs> Nowhere near that. Uh, wise move. <laughs> now, who do you think is going to win Saturday night at the ACC? Um, I think we will. Yeah. yeah. That's the Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. I do believe it's uh, ENC, which is us, Edge and Christian. Get it? Get it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Jacqueline, who's a feisty little, little thing, against uh, the Hardys and uh, Lita. I knew that would get a reaction. Yeah. Right. Right. Now, uh, certainly not to ruin any betting or anything, but uh, I know you guys know. What is the outcome of tomorrow night's... Uh, Actually, <laughs> that's a little misconception. We'll usually find out when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of the times we'll find out who we fight an hour before, so... Okay. Beach I want to I wanna thank both of you. <laughs> a real pleasure. Ed and Christian, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. TV, meet Mike in person, or maybe win a prize, call us at 1-888-394-MIKE. Well, folks, that's it for our little show this evening. I hope you'll join us next week when our guests will include Terry Clark, Gavin Crawford, R.H. Thompson, and Rock Wazine, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Special thanks to China, Val Venus, Trish Status, Edge, and Christian. No thank you to Ted. 
No thank you to right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday.